Hi everyone, Mr. Bowtie here. Thank you so much for checking out my content and my channel. Now make sure you bang home that red subscribe button on YouTube so that way you can stay up to date on the latest content from around the area that you won't find anywhere else. And follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. In this episode, we meet Lauren Brasino, a senior libero at Cornerstone who also plays club ball at Alamo Volleyball, both coached by the legendary Mike Carter. She is heading to Baylor in 2021 to join area volleyball legend Kara McGee in Waco. McGee's sister Elise will join Brasino in 2021. Being able to, you know, participate in my senior year, I am so ecstatic because, you know, not a lot of players are getting the opportunity to play their senior year. What's the toughest challenge of being a libero versus any of the other positions? Yeah, I would definitely have to say um, toughest part as being a libero is definitely defense and like first contact service receive. You know, being able to track the ball um, in service receive can get pretty tricky at times. You know, the ball is coming so fast in all different directions. So definitely getting feet there uh, to the ball and playing defense, just mastering um, you know, your technique and where the ball should be going. How has playing for Mike Carter at the high school and club volleyball levels made you a better player? Having Coach Carter in the club world and in school world, um, he's definitely really engaged and um, with the team as well. Just always um, staying hands on with us as teammates and just making sure that we're setting a good example as a team. He makes us feel really welcomed, you know, not so much intimidating. All of us feel pretty relaxed and know that what we need to do um, as a team and play as one and as in unison. So he definitely does a good job making sure that um, we're all taking per uh, leadership and participating all together. Club can be a lot more uh, challenging and everyone knows each other. Um, getting to be able to um, play everyone across the country. It's definitely super important. How have you grown as an athlete as you finish up high school and prepare for college ball? Definitely taking leadership in charge is really important. Um, I think for every athlete as um, coming up and rising seniors. So um, I think it has definitely uh, grown for not only the better, but just having a lot of more people taking these opportunities. You're heading to Baylor. We know Baylor was in the Final Four last year. How do you adjust to going from the high school club speed to what you're going to find at Baylor where you're going to be going up against world-renowned players, not just nationally renowned players? Right. So I definitely think that, um, you know, starting early, taking charge early, um, you know, being able to know, like, what you're going into is really important, you know. Um, the college speed is so much faster. It's so much more um, intimidating almost. So I definitely think that um, being able to make the changes to faster balls is going to be really important. But I am really excited to be able to be with the coaching staff and um, knowing how to adjust to that level. Kara McGee's already up there. She had a great career at Clark. Her sister Elise, who's still at Clark, will be there with you. How does that help adjust uh, being able to go with a couple of players who are from the area and can help you with that adjustment? It's definitely really comforting to have, um, you know, someone who I've known for a long time in the volleyball world. Um, you know, Elise and I are really close, so being able to go with her up to Baylor is definitely really comforting. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds for us. 